Hello everybody, this is Jeff at eTrailer.com. Today we're going to take a look at the Dexter 12-inch by 2-inch corrosion-resistant right hand free backing hydraulic trailer brake assembly with the parking brake for 7,000 pound axles. <clears throat> now this hydraulic drum brake assembly is designed for use with the surge type trailer brake actuators. This one here is a free backing design, which means it'll let you reverse without your trailer brakes being activated. And the way it does it is the hydraulic pressure is contained by the wheel cylinder and the brake shoe will turn and release the pressure when it's reversing. And the way you can tell a free backing assembly is it has this D-shaped shoe to it. You can see this one shoe over has a D design to it. <clears throat> now these brake shoes are lined with an automotive grade friction material. This friction material is fully bonded to the shoe. It's not riveted. Gives you a lot longer life, more braking torque. Also on this one, the backing plate. If I spin it around, you'll be able to see it. This whole backing plate is coated with a corrosion resistant finish and it does use stainless steel springs. So this is great for marine application. Now this is a right hand passenger side brake assembly. And the way you can tell that, <clears throat> now when you get a new one, of course, there'll be a sticker on it that'll say, right hand or left hand, this one will say right hand on it, and that's the easiest way, but if that sticker wasn't there, a little tip to know that to, how you can tell by looking at it is you look at the size of the brake pad or the lining on the shoe. So you look at this shoe, the pad goes all the way from here to here, and if you look at this one, it just goes from here to here. So this is the shorter shoe. The shorter shoe is the primary shoe. That primary shoe will always face the front of the trailer. So if it's going to face the front, you can see that it'll go on the right hand or passenger side. <clears throat> That's the best way to tell if it's a right or left hand side assembly. <clears throat> now this is a manual adjustment. In other words, this adjustment wheel down here, you will have to manually adjust it. It does require periodic manual adjustment. This one here also includes this parking lever. Right here you can see this parking lever will work with a trailer that already has a parking brake. If you do not have a parking brake and you do want to add a parking brake, we do sell a manual parking brake separately on our website that can be added uh, to this assembly here. That manual brake parking brake part number is T2385200, and it's usually listed on this product page as a related product. Now, if you notice the five nuts here with the washers attached, that's the mounting hardware. The mounting hardware is included. This part is made in the USA. Again, the specs on this, it's designed to fit axle ratings of 7,000 pounds. Now, the size on it, when we say it's a 12-inch by 2-inch, the 12-inch, that's going to measure, when you measure it, it's the diameter from this shoe to this shoe. So if we take the ruler and we go this shoe to this shoe, there's your 12-inch measurement. And the 2-inch is the width of the pad. So if you measure the width of the pad on there, it's 2 inches wide. So that says this is a 12-inch by 2-inch assembly. It does require 12-inch brake drums. The mounting flange right here is a 5-bolt design that, goes, that mounts to the brake mounting flange on your trailer axle. And the wheel size this uses is 16-inch and larger. But that should do it for the review on this Dexter 12-inch by 2-inch corrosion-resistant right-hand free backing hydraulic trailer brake assembly with the parking brake for 7,000 pound axles.